All right, listen up, ladies. This is Rob from the Vinage Channel. Today we're out on the range. We're going to be shooting a Bear Creek Arsenal 22 inch 224 Valkyrie with a Nikon X1000 scope. And we're going to be shooting exclusively the American Eagle 75 grain, the inexpensive stuff you can get at Walmart. So we're going to take it out to 300 and then to 500 and see what she'll do. Okay, we've got our 75 grain American Eagle 224 Valkyrie ammo loaded up, our 22 inch BCA barrel in Slunster Co. Omega, and Nikon X1000. Okay, I think I've covered all the bases. So let's take a shot out there at the 300 yard gong, and this is with the factory ammo. And we're just going to take a wild shot here so we can hit the gong. There you go. First shot. Okay, there's the one shot fired at a 300 yard gong. It's about a 10 inch gong and almost dead center, so pretty happy with that. Hey, I thought I'd uh, do a quick segment and show you guys my uh, junkyard uh, gong target apparatus here. Basically, I got two old pedestals from the scrapyard and you could honestly use a brake rotor with a piece of pipe welded to it and I got uh, just basically angle iron welded onto a, an old piece of round stock you can drop it in there and you can uh, pick it up and move it easily because it's in front of my target berm so I just pick it up slide it out of the way and it's out of the way, and now I have uh, a uh, piece of whiteboard, white paper, and throw a target up on there for zeroing the gun in on the 300-yard uh, target, or 300-yard gong, and put it back out there, and it's ready to go. You could actually put two or three metal gongs on this one. I made it kind of wide so that the bullet splatter doesn't tear it up, and. Uh, the wooden ones, uh, they don't last long because uh, the bullet splatter just tears the, the pieces up. And you can see I've uh, actually winged this one a couple times. That's a piece of uh, conveyor belt a buddy of mine gave me. And I usually use fire hose, but he gave me that uh, conveyor belt. And man, that stuff works great. It's flexible, and you can't even tell that it's been hit. So, really good stuff. So, that's what I use out here on my range uh, all this stuff basically from the junkyard except for the um, AR 500 steel target and that's a 10 inch gong okay now the uh, the reason that I really came out here was to shoot the 500 yard target and I've got a um, just a black bullseye against a paper background down at the 500 yard berm and we're going to uh, take a few shots and then I will ride down there and See what it looks like on the paper. I'm gonna take a few more off camera and then we'll ride down. Okay, this is the uh, 75 grain American Eagle at 500 yards. And, you know, not a great pattern. Uh, that's pretty huge, but I was holding a camera phone over the top of the scope to the shots, so not exactly uh, something I would recommend for, you know, your next match, holding the camera in your hand and shooting at the same time, but not bad. So I'm going to drag a uh, gong out here, the 12 inch gong at the 500 yard berm now, and uh, that's, a, that's the American Eagle, so pretty happy with it, and it'll be great for plinking around. Okay, I couldn't resist the temptation. I had to throw up a fresh target. Go back down and uh, fire another five rounds at 500 yards. And this is the uh, inexpensive 75 grain ammo that you can buy at Walmart. And you can see I got one, two, three, four, and one way up here, five. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, good inexpensive uh, plinker. And I might try some of that Mexican match ammo. Put a um, match king bullet in the American Eagle um, factory ammo. And 
sort of like the JP video. So uh, we're going to try it one more time on some steel down here today. Okay, I'm back down to the bench, and I fully expect this camera to fall over with the first shot, but hey, I'm going to give it a try. It's uh, we're going to be shooting at the 500 yard uh, steel gong. So stand by. Let's see what happens. There's a hit. Two hits. I think that was a miss. Good hit. Hit. Okay, the day before the hurricane, what are you gonna do? Go to the range, of course. Let's go down and check that 500 yard gong. Okay, and here's our hits on our 500 yard gong. And it looks like one, two, three, four, maybe. I, uh, I think I missed one. So, looks like I need to come maybe left one click and maybe down one click. We'll, we'll play around with this more. But uh, meanwhile, I gotta get back to Walmart and get some of that cheap ammo. This stuff shoots great. Okay, so my second string of five shots at the 500 yard gong. And I got, uh, I came over one click left and one click down. And it looks like the one click left brought them from this group over more over in this area. Uh, but I still had one flyer that went over the target. You could see it. You see the hole back there shot over the target so maybe a, one more click down uh, I don't know the barrels heating up maybe uh, don't know why seems like I'm chasing around the zero at 500 just a bit and don't know maybe some of you match grade shooters can tell me why uh, I keep having to adjust it at 500 and even though I went down one click it looks like the group is still you know, almost at the same level, if not uh, half inch higher. So uh, one more click down, let's see if we can get it in the middle of the target. And it's not gonna be today. I've got to uh, go home and work on the hurricane prep. I'm in uh, coastal Georgia and I'm getting this little hurricane tomorrow. So you need to get back to the house and playtime's over.